Well, good morning, Internet. And like I said I was going to do, I'm going to give you a quick walk around of the 86 Ford F-150 that I purchased uh, as a parts truck. And I just wanted to give you uh, just a quick walk around to uh, let you know what it's all about. Had some people message me going, why are you going to cut it up? And uh, I'll uh, kind of explain that as I go. So here we are. So this is the newest addition to the collection. Not a permanent one, though. 1986 Ford F-150 two-wheel drive extended cab short bed. And uh, if you step back, it looks really good, minus the fact that the wheels are, are junk, tires are junk. I think they're just some something that somebody put on there just to make it roll. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it's an F-150, and I'm gonna just give you a quick walk around here. Missing the tailgate. Uh, the bed, inside the bed's actually in really good shape. I don't think you saw a very hard life. It's got some uh, pretty major rust though right here. This is not an easy fix. Um, you can buy these and have and weld it in and everything, but then you end up having to paint it all. And uh, yeah, there's that. There's also this big smack here. It was caved in a long ways and I used a, a, a suction cup dent puller and pulled it out a little bit, straightened the trim out a little bit, but uh, just, just for fun anyways. Uh, the door, I mean, there's some really, really good parts on this thing. This door is flawless. This bump, or this uh, fender right here is basically flawless. Bumper's a little twisted, looks like it got smacked in the center, but uh, you know, the grill, the emblem's in really good shape. You don't see that very often. <clears throat> this fender here has been smacked a little bit, but probably a pretty easy fix other than that it's it's in really good shape this door looks really good except for that that is a pretty ugly one right there uh looks like somebody tried to hammer it back out too i have no idea what happened there but it ain't ain't good um back here this bedside right here with the dual tanks is really nice uh, i don't see any rust i don't even see any indication of rust on this side i don't know why one side and not the other no rust down here. This may have been, you know, redone at some point or something because it is basically perfect. Uh, so this bedside is, is, the whole bed's actually worth something if somebody fixed the rust on the other side. It's, uh, it, you know, it's hard to find these without a lot of rust. And it's just strange that that's the only place that there is rust. So on the inside, this is a Lariat. It's got some aftermarket seats that uh, this one's being held up by a two by four. It's really broke down. Uh, door panels are pretty nice. I've already got a set just like this that are in about the same condition. Uh, but it does have all the power window stuff, and it does work, except for that one gets a little bit choppy going up and down. Uh, dash is really nice. Um, dash pad's got, uh, you know, some cracks in it, but uh, the bezels and everything are good. Tachometer, I have no idea if it works. It's missing the needle, so I might stick a needle on there, see if I can get that to work. But it has a good trip odometer. Um, I believe that, yeah, the indicator still works, which uh, this will be the second one that I found that has the indicator that's, that isn't broken yet, which is really cool. Uh, carpet's pretty good. Um, you know, got the back seat in it and everything. Headliner is uh, actually not really torn. It's got a little hole right there, but it's in pretty good shape. I don't really need a, an extended cab one, but uh, <clears throat> yeah. Let's look under the hood. So this being an 86 has the fuel injected 5.0. And what's crazy about this truck is that everything is still there. I mean, I'm in Eastern Oregon, Eastern Washington area, and uh, you know, smog pumps aren't required. Um, you don't have to smog stuff out here. And so this thing still has an operational smog pump. It still cycles on and off. It has air conditioning that cycles on and off. It needs charge, but it is cycle. It does cycle. It's got a bunch of new parts. Um, spark plug wires. Um, it's got uh, uh, a new, uh, I think, a the distributor module on the side there is, is brand new. It's got the transmission in it. It's got a, a overdrive AOD transmission, which is good transmission. Problem is it slips. It, it, you got to rev it up in order to get it to go. And... Uh, it, the transmission, look underneath, it's, it's all painted up. It's really clean. So somebody may have either just taken it out and painted it, or maybe it's a remanufactured one. I don't know. 
um, but I have no idea why. It, it's like it's starving for fluid, but it uh, it has plenty of fluid in it, so I gotta figure that out uh, before I take it apart. Um, all the vacuum lines are complete. I went through all that, and, and uh, yeah, this thing basically is uh, has been kept completely stock its entire life. And as the story goes, this is actually a remanufactured 302. Uh, the guy ran it out of oil, he took it to Ford. Ford put another motor in it at some point in its life. So uh, this isn't the original engine, so it's got lower miles than uh, whatever the truck says. I think the truck just says 46, so it's, I don't know if that's 146 or 246, I don't know. I uh, got a new brake master cylinder. Um, yeah, it's got pretty much everything I need uh, to make the little red truck run, which is what I'm going to do when I take the motor out of this and then uh, ship this thing down the road. Probably part it out. Um, like you said, it's, it seems like a great truck. It's complete. It's just got, you know, even if it was absolutely perfect, it wouldn't be worth that much. It's not four wheel drive. Uh, for some reason, the extended cabs just aren't that popular. Now, the short bed single cabs, uh, especially four wheel drive or two wheel drive, are pretty popular. People love those. But uh, I don't know, this just isn't that popular of a truck. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll take some parts off of it. If uh, you see this video and you want some parts off of it other than the drivetrain, uh, just let me know. Because I got plenty of uh, the body parts, interior parts, and all that stuff. I don't really don't need any of it. But I want somebody's bullnose Ford truck to uh, benefit from this one giving its life. So, uh, yeah, just hit me up. But, yeah, um, I'm going to uh, hop in it real quick and uh, show you guys what it sounds like. It's got some terrible exhaust on it. All right. Here is this glass-packed 302. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. 